Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are going to be our 2020 year overview videos. These are extremely important because we are coming into an era that some people are coining the golden era, you know, a quest towards the golden consciousness, all of those things. So we're going to see a lot of density blowing out of our lives, out of our world, and it might throw you off a little bit. So I wanted to do these videos so that you could be prepared <laughs> and you could have your energy set so that, you know, as things start to unfold, you can go with the flow, you can observe without investing and you'll be okay. All right. These are not scary times. These are not, this is not a threat. These are not videos to be like danger, 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 watch out. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about being in your awareness. So through these videos, it's my hope and my intention that this gives you uh, some bit of good information, something that will help you per sign. <laughs> and that's just to divvy up the audience. That way I can focus in on different energetic groups and, you know, make sure you're watching for your sun, your moon, your rising. You might want to watch for your Venus sign, you know, whatever works for you. But hopefully the information that comes through is exactly what you need to hear throughout the year to help you remain centered and be able to roll with whatever's coming right? <laughs> so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will leave information in the description box below on courses. I may be putting out some courses having to do with getting prepared for 2020 and lots of other things. There's tons, there's a huge library of stuff there. So go check that out. And of course, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below as well. If you want to just support me by subscribing and hitting that like, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Hi there, Scorpio. We're going to look at what's going on for you in 2020. But before we get to that, if you haven't watched my video on 2020, please make sure you go over and watch it because that is the foundation of these readings. And also we have to talk about how to listen to these readings. These are not surface level. Am I getting a boyfriend this year? Am I going to be a millionaire this year? Kind of readings. This is talking about getting into your soul light and activating, right? <laughs> and helping to contribute to the higher good of everyone involved. How about that? All right. So we're going to get right into it. Let's get you some cards. Okay, one more shuffle. That would be it about right. No, oh, no, one more. There we go. Now we're ready. <laughs> okay, let's see what you have. So the first card out we have for you guys is the messenger. So this is about messages coming through, um, some deeper understandings about your world. So this is a sudden epiphany. Uh, maybe I feel like the messages come from other people for you guys. So it's one of those things like maybe the angels and your guides are working through other people. Just to be clear, they don't take people over, <laughs> okay? This is if uh, someone on a soul level has made it okay for that to occur, okay? Um, like for example, I'm one of those people. Caution here, this is not going around giving people unsolicited advice, all right? That's not what we're talking about here. But the messenger says you're gonna get the message. There's someone coming to help you. There is someone who's coming to let you see a new perspective. Uh, for some of you, this could be someone walking into your world and being like, hey, you know, it, it's time to realize this, this, and this. And whatever that surface level thing is, um, it, it's nice on the surface level, but there's something activating in the deeper sense. So you might realize, oh my gosh, I totally just felt angel vibes. <laughs> it's not that that person was an actual angel in human form. It's more like you, you felt like someone cares enough on the other side to bring a message through for you. And it might give you this feeling throughout the year that you truly are not alone, that you do have a team, that team is working with you. Again, this is not the egotistical pursuit of like, I could get messages and I'm so good and I'm so this. We're done with that. We're past that now, okay? We don't, we're not having that kind of ego injury anymore where we're having to prove ourselves to others. I think we're coming into a time, especially you guys, you're coming into that time of being at peace with your wisdom, being at peace with what you understand about yourself and being at peace with the potential of being wrong, 
<laughs> right? Or misunderstanding a message and realizing that even if that were to occur, you can handle it, all right? It's, it's that kind of deeper shift. It's that kind of deeper opening, if that makes sense. All right, so your next card is the secret. This has been coming out quite a bit for everyone. And the secret is you, all right? You're understanding your deeper, truer nature. You're going within, and there's a lot of shedding. There's like a reset for a lot of people out there, all right? And that secret for you, please, I can't stress this enough because do you know how people could misinterpret these cards? Do you understand? Oh, well, the secret is the secret of the universe, and I'm so special, it's going to come through me. That information is in everybody, okay? <laughs> and the activations, the light codes, all of that stuff, once it opens, the realizations that are, you know, right for you to open your particular light so that you can contribute to this collective soul, if you want to see it that way, um, that will be known to you. So this is not diminishing what other people come up with and going, that's wrong, unless you really feel that they're just like darkness trying to pose as light, you'll feel that. And you know, then those people, we don't need to, we don't need to be around them. But if it's somebody else who's like, well, I've gotten this message, right? And someone comes along and is like, I want to debate that. That's not it. And that's not what a lot of spiritual, like true spiritual practitioners do. If you ever watch something like Regina Meredith, if you watch her shows, um, you'll see that she, you know, she has a lot of different people on there with a lot of different opinions, um, or not opinions, but just ways of bringing through information. And, you know, there's never this like, well, that's not true. You know, Regina Meredith doesn't say you're wrong. She just listens and she lets people bring what they want forward. Doesn't mean we have to agree with everybody. We, it, we're not gonna resonate with everything, but there's none of this arguing back and forth because we understand that spirit and our souls are incredibly expansive and everything that comes through from every kind of medium, channeler, what have you, it's still having to filter through their third dimensional ego consciousness. So everyone is going to get different kinds of messages. They're gonna be pulling from different parts of the universe messaging, if you wanna see it that way. And it still has to interpret through them as a human, all <laughs> right? So no arguing, accept what is coming through for you. Uh, be open to other ideas, all right? And let's see what we can do with that. So we have pulled two cards for you so far. Let's get you another one. Magdalene. So this is incredible. Magdalene is the return of the divine feminine. I was telling another sign, I feel like maybe some of her messages are going to start coming through quite a bit. And this is being introspective and not, okay, so not warlike, not aggressive, obviously, but also not super passive. That's the beauty and the strength of the divine feminine. It doesn't have to be warlike and it doesn't have to be passive. It's perfectly balanced in between. And when that divine feminine comes forward, I was telling another sign this as well, it's not like you come in and you knock the divine masculine out of the way and say, it's our reign now. We've seen examples of people trying to do that with the divine feminine and it falls flat. You notice like they end up disappearing and nobody has ever heard from them again, right? Um, that's because it wasn't, it wasn't what was needed, right? Rather, this is the divine feminine taking her seat next to the divine masculine and saying, I'm home, here we are. And now the divine masculine can heal from her presence and she can heal from the divine masculine's presence. And now we start to see this uh, sort of reverberating throughout the entire planet and through all of the people, right? And now, I don't know what the exact result of that would be, but now at least there's a gentleness and a peacefulness within you, okay? Then we have surrender. This is all about, do not try to figure this out. Don't do the 2012 in the 2020, all right? This isn't about twisting the information around to have nice, neat, little fun stories, all right? It, we're not playing an entertainment game anymore. And I know some people are gonna take great offense to that. I'm sorry that you're unhappy. I hope you work on that. I said it, I hope you work on that because just because something triggers you doesn't mean the other person's at fault. <laughs> this is another huge lesson that you're gonna be learning throughout the course of this year. You can't hold other people accountable for how you take things and for how you feel about things. If somebody is overtly rude and nasty, all right, you know, then you set your boundary and you move on. 
But people getting offended and wanting to fight and all that stuff, that's not surrender. And that's what we need to be doing. And surrender doesn't mean give up. Surrender just means I'm going to stop trying to control everything. As I was saying, in 2012, that's what people were doing. They're trying to control uh, the narrative and controlling what it means that the Mayan calendar is going to end and what it means when, you know, that date comes around, and blah, 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 you know, all this stuff. And it never happened. <laughs> it never happened. So surrender what you think you know and be open to a new education from the universe. All right. Let's get you a color card. Oh, or not. As I looked up at the camera, I flung the entire deck across the desk. Oh, all right, let's try that again. <laughs> all right, color card, color card. Yeah, they're saying this is a big time for everybody in tempering their egos. And we're noticing that, you know, some of the egotistical things that people want to do or how they want to express, people see it. They recognize it, and then they just walk away from it. It's really interesting, not feeding it, right? All right, so for you guys, we have red. Free yourself from pain, the number is two. So again, we're talking about balance. We're talking about feeling safe in this world and not operating from the pain body. Operating from the pain body means that you want to argue with people. You want to tell them they're wrong. Um, you want to blame them for how you feel. You know, all of these things. You do not have to exist in a constant state of pain. You don't have to define yourself by your traumas. You do not need to define yourself by what other people have done, okay? If you've ever been in a state of uh, victimhood, right? You might have been a victim, but you don't need to live in victimhood. You don't need to live in victimization. You don't need to keep giving the trauma food, right? So that's what this is talking about. This is saying disconnect from that. It's not about denial. It's not about saying you just gotta let it go. No, if you're not ready to let it go, you're not ready to let it go. But you can free yourself from certain pain that you've already processed, but you keep coming back to. All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.